Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your favorite cow. So recently I released my brand new EP Bovine. Streaming on all streaming platforms. You guys should definitely go check it out. Link in the description. And that's got me thinking about how artists nowadays are adapting to the way people consume music. It's usually through streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. And when you listen to an album, artists make sure that one track seamlessly goes into the next one. I thought maybe I should implement that technique and try to make the tracks on the EP seamlessly go into one another. And now with the concept of the album making a comeback, I thought it'd be helpful to show you guys how to make your albums or EPs much more cohesive. Let's get into it. All right, so here we have my project for Dank Rook, the first track on my EP. So let's check out how I ended the song. Those vocal clips are a really good way to show the audience that this is the end of a song. They're really, really helpful for transitions. Plenty of lo-fi producers, they utilize this technique. And obviously, being on brand, it's with Cal. All right, so let me show you how I started the second track on the EP, Trust. Sure is. So as you can see here, I started with the tail end of that vocal sample that I recorded, the ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> and added it at the beginning of Trust. It's very faint, very well deep in the mix. I also added the second part of that Randall There's a Cow Outside. When you hear it like on Spotify, it's very seamless. And because of the delay of that like vocal melody is on there, it seems very like it's just one song. It's the ending of the first song and, and the beginning of the second song. So now let's check out how I end the trust to go into the third track, Love. Great milk comes from happy cows. I tried to be a bit creative with it because there was kind of not a really good way for me to go into the one song into the next. So I kind of had to use my brain here. So I added the static sound, kind of like a regular scratch static sound to kind of say like, this, it's getting interrupted, something new is happening. I added the vocal clip and I faded the sample from Trust and layered it with the sample from Love. One of them is fading, the other one's kind of coming in, much like a DJ set. Those tiny bits of interruption add the transition so it's not so abrupt. So again, when you're listening to it on Spotify, these songs kind of bleed into each other and having those type of transitions really make it seamless. And now let's check out Love. It's actually Love Part 2. Love Part 1 was released with the good people from Joe Select. Shout out to Joe Select. I took the sample from Love Part 2, it's an original, unedited, and put that at the end of Trust. And the very next thing you hear is the reverse version. So when you hear a reverse sample, you can kind of tell where the original is coming from, especially if you just heard the original unedited. So that also helps with it transitioning. So let's play the end of the whole EP, the end of Love Part 2. As you can see, I ended the song with the same vocal clip I ended Trust with. This way, it adds continuity and connection between the two tracks. Also, because it's the end of the EP, I can let the whole vocal clip play out uninterrupted. Alright guys, let me know in the comments, how do you make your projects or albums more cohesive? And is the album making a comeback or is music so dominated by singles? And if this video was helpful at all, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, or check out another one of my tutorials right over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Moo moo. Uh...